man, I'm built different, period. Mm -hmm. I'm just built different, man. And I, I've always had an eye, a, 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 a discipline and a work ethic that I've had at a young age that I just kind of, I just apply it to everything that I, that I want to do. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I would say that, you know, I rarely go out, you know, reading, you know what I'm saying? Trying to reverse engineer how to be successful. Like, how do I, you know, start my own production company? How do I do this? How do I do that? And I always felt like if other cats was out partying and I was home studying, I would have an edge. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If right. cats was out here doing this and that, being hung over the night before, I would have an edge if I wasn't. Did I go out and party? Yeah. Did I have a good time? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Did I, oh, but like, I, I think for me, it's always been like a, a work. Uh, I've always had, a, all right. If I'm eating food, I'll save the best for last. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll eat around it to the one part that I really want. For, I want to eat. I'm, I'm going to save that. I'm yeah. like, a, I'm a delay, you know what I'm saying? Gratification. I'm that type of person. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm literally like, all right, I will party later. I work hard now, so the second half of my life, I can do what I want. Mm. That's, that's been my men mentality. It's like, I'm not going to trick off my early years for partying and then worry about struggling, how I'm going to make it, how I'm going to take care of my family, how I'm going to take care of everybody else. Like, that's not going to be me. I'm going to grind it out now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to set up the foundation so I can enjoy myself later. That's always been my mentality. And, I, and, and that just that works for me. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. I don't know what's going on in the black community, but it seems like ever since Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey broke up, a lot of black women have been hating on that man hard and wishing on his downfall. Now, we saw the recent video that came out of him reminding a person that was interviewing him. She used to buddy him and call him corny back in the days and look at him now back then they didn't want me now i'm hot they all own me but unfortunately a lot of black women have developed this hate for michael b jordan when he hasn't done anything the only thing that recently happened is him and Lori harvey broke up and i hate to say this but it looks like a lot of black women look up to Lori harvey want to be like Lori harvey they want to be able to run through different men switch guys like they switch shoes and roam through the streets and now y'all wonder why so many so many black men are going overseas to find love so many black men are not even dating black women anymore they're dating different races of course it's not applied to all black women of, co of course okay of course we're not saying all black women are toxic but this is unfortunate and i hate how they're attacking michael b jordan for no reason at all as you guys saw from the video michael b jordan is somebody who is very dedicated somebody who put a lot of work into becoming the person that he is today he was very focused he's very driven very ambitious but unfortunately a a lot of women do not like that in the black community unfortunately it sucks check this out what does this young lady say michael b jordan is cute but doesn't have any edge he just looked i don't know responsible he looked like he know where his birth certificate at guys this tweet right there it already has over 7.5 million views it has over 137,000 likes there's a lot of women out there that agree with this statement about michael b jordan he looks responsible and that that is a turn off. Yeah, they might find him attractive, but he's responsible. That's a turn off. Unfortunately, a lot of black women find that as a turn off. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Another tweet. He's the type you date when you're ready to settle down. Another shot fired at Michael B. Jordan. The man has not done or said anything negative about black women, but he's being ridiculed. He's being attacked. He's being bullied. The only thing that recently happened was him and Lori Harvey broke up. It looks like the fact that him and Lori Harvey are no longer together, black women feel that it's okay to take shots at him because they idolize Lori Harvey and want to be like her. But if Lori Harvey is so special, why hasn't anybody wiped her up yet? Why is she still roaming through the streets, collecting body counts, getting run through, having a new boyfriend every six months. So you fellas out there that are listening to this, you got the answer from the horse's mouth. He looks responsible, which is a turn off. Of course, not all black women feel this way, but looking at how many likes this post has gotten, a lot of women agree with her. This is another example of how the worst thing you can be to a woman is to be boring. A woman will stay with a man who cheats on her, mistreats her. She'll find excuses to make up in her mind to stay. But boy oh boy, if you're a boring guy, if you dare bore her, good luck keeping her. That's right. The truth is, a woman would rather stay with a guy who cheats on her but gives her thrills and he's exciting than be with a faithful, boring guy. And that is what they're saying about Michael B. Jordan. He looks responsible. He looks like a guy who is faithful. And unfortunately, a lot of black women find men who are faithful as 
boring it's a turn off sure you can be faithful and be exciting but the thing is a woman like this and a woman with her mindset which unfortunately there's way too many women in the black community that have this mindset they find faithfulness as boring like i said before this does not apply to all women but way too many of them feel this way a guy who ain't got no girls blowing up his phone she knows where you're at at all times she don't gotta fight off any side chicks or any baby mama drama you don't flirt with other women in her face yawn that will automatically make you come off as a boring guy and this is what they're saying about michael b jordan he looks responsible he looks like a guy who's faithful we never really heard any stories about him cheating on Lori harvey like damn bruh you ain't got no hoes something must be wrong with them that is the mindset unfortunately that too many women in the black community have why do you guys think pokies and ray rays stay winning in the black community yeah he ain't got no car yeah he ain't got no job but there's something about him his swag his drip his charm he's lit and he's got a roster of women and they're all competing to be with him all fighting over him of course not all black women are like this but let's not act like this isn't common in the black community and unfortunately as you see from this suite that is something that is prioritized in the black community when women are selecting mates michael b jordan is cute but does it have any edge he just looks responsible he looks responsible that is a turnoff responsible and upstanding man like michael b jordan is a turnoff guys who are focused driven stay off the streets care about their careers more than turning up all the time are deemed and seen as boring and guys who are faithful no drama no side chicks she doesn't have to worry about him cheating on her or seen as boring too like i said it's so sad the way michael b jordan has been getting attacked online by a lot of black women ever since the breakup with Lori harvey what's even worse is the amount of black women looking at Lori harvey as a role model and how they should conduct themselves in relationships by switching men like switching shoes and collecting more miles in the 1990 honda civic anyways guys let me know what you think and with that being said i am out